Okay, guys, we're going to watch this um, video about U.S. landmarks. Emblematic of Hollywood's golden age, this U.S. landmark has been imitated the world over. Located in L.A.'s Hollywood Hills, the sign debuted in 1923 as an advertisement for the upscale Hollywood land housing development, but it quickly became an icon. It replaced a painted board overlooking the village that stood until the lots under it were sold. After the removal of the last four letters in 1949, the sign required constant repairs until it was completely rebuilt in 1978. Number eight, the USS Arizona Memorial. Drawing over a million tourists each year, the submerged USS Arizona remains a reminder of the December 7th, 1941 attack on Pearl Harbor. It's kind of more like sadness, and but honor for the people who lost their lives. From a floating bridge, visitors to the Hawaiian monument can view the ship's remains, which still leak oil to this day. The memorial pays tribute to the first of thousands of Americans who lost their lives during World War II. Number seven, the Grand Canyon. Deemed one of the seven natural wonders of the world, Arizona's Grand Canyon is a truly majestic sight. At 277 miles long, a mile deep, and at times 18 miles wide, it's among the world's largest landmarks. And with its array of colors, natural structures, flora, and fauna, it's considered among the most beautiful. The canyon is also populated by several Native American tribes, making it an important part of American culture. Number six, the Hoover Dam. At the time, this gargantuan structure was considered one of the world's greatest engineering feats. Today, the 726 foot high quarter mile long dam is no less impressive. Spanning the Colorado River between Arizona and Nevada, it was conceived as a way to provide power and water to dry regions in America's West. The concrete arch gravity structure is open to the public and draws millions of visitors each year. Number five, Mount Rushmore. South Dakota's Black Hills are home to four of America's most iconic presidents. The 60 foot tall faces of George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Abraham Lincoln, and Teddy Roosevelt are carved into Mount Rushmore. A carving of surprising delicacy, fashioned with jackhammers and dynamite. Although the project exhausted its funding before the presidents could be carved from the waist up, more than 450,000 tons of rock were removed to create their likenesses. It's a massive monument for passionate patriots across America to enjoy. Number four, Independence Hall. It's the birthplace of American freedom, Philadelphia's Independence Hall, where 56 men put their lives and reputations on the line to defy the King of England and declare America's independence. The hall remains arranged and decorated as it was during the Constitutional Convention. Both the Declaration and the Constitution were signed in Independence Hall, whose famous bell tower once housed another of America's national symbols, the Liberty Bell. Number three, the Golden Gate Bridge. This project realized a century old dream to span the three mile long Golden Gate Strait, the entrance to San Francisco Bay from the Pacific. Built between 1933 and 37, the stunning bridge was painted orange vermilion to blend with the warm landscape and to contrast the blue waters below. Billions of cars have crossed it and millions more admire its contribution to the San Francisco skyscape. Number two, the Statue of Liberty. Since 1886, Lady Liberty has greeted immigrants and travelers to New York City, standing tall in times of prosperity and tragedy. The Statue of Liberty is more than a landmark. She represents a nation's hopes and dreams. Broken shackles at her feet symbolize freedom from oppression, and her tablet marks the birth of American independence. If there is one monument that encapsulates the American dream, it's the nation's 305-foot-tall torchbearer. Number one, the National Mall. Our number one U.S. landmark houses the Washington Monument, the Lincoln Memorial, the Capitol Building, World War II and Vietnam memorials, and more. Such iconic features pepper the mall, the stage for important events like the anti-Vietnam War rally. Estimated at about 50,000 persons was a loose confederation of some 150 groups and included adults, students, even children. Martin Luther King Jr.'s I Have a Dream speech. But I have a dream for my poor little children one day live in a nation 